Mexican authorities have arrested Ovidio Guzman, son of notorious drug lord Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, after his arrest in the city of Culiacan, located in the Mexican state of Sinaloa. Riots broke out, reports CNN. Ovidio Guzman was arrested by Mexican police on Thursday as a high-ranking member of the Sinaloa cartel. Immediately afterwards, authorities advised residents not to take to the streets due to possible clashes between police and cartel members. They did not keep themselves waiting. Videos posted on social media show burning trucks and the sound of gunshots near Culiacan Airport. The airport itself was closed for most of the day for security reasons. Also, schools do not work in Culiacan. Municipal institutions are closed. The arrest of El Chapo's son came just days before you. S. President Joe Biden and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau visited Mexico. They should take part in the summit of the leaders of the North American states. By arresting Guzman Jr., Mexican President Lucas Obrador is trying to show the U.S. that he controls the military and the security situation in the country, said Syracuse University Associate Professor Gladys McCormick, who specializes in Mexican-American relations. The state of Sinaloa is home to the cartel of the same name, one of the most powerful drug trafficking organizations in the world. Joaquin Guzman, nicknamed El Chapo, Shorty, was the head of the Sinaloa cartel before he was sentenced to life in the United States in 2020. In 2011, Forbes magazine included Guzman in the list of the richest people in the world. His fortune at that time was estimated at $1 billion. According to the assessment of the American authorities, El Chapo surpassed the famous Colombian drug lord Pablo Escobar in his influence, and in terms of influence on the situation in Mexico, Guzman was second only to one of the richest people in the world, Carlos Slim. According to the U.S. State Department, Oviedo Guzman and his brother Joaquin Guzman Lopez inherited much of their father's empire. The brothers control almost all Mexican drug trafficking. In addition, according to the State Department, they own 11 methamphetamine laboratories in the state of Sinaloa.